So in this tutorial, I want to teach you how to set up your cheaper account, your cheaper cash account, so that you can use it to pay for Facebook ad. Uh, if you've been following me too well on this tutorial, I talked about how you can create your Facebook page, Facebook account, and I talked about how you can set up a, a Facebook ad, and I explained everything, and I said, I'm going to show you how to add payment method using cheaper cash. That is why I'm doing this tutorial. In case you're just new to this, Please check the link anywhere. There is a link to watch everything about Facebook settings and how to add payment method, which is this video anyway. So first of all, you have to uh, get this app. For you to get this app, there is a link attached to this video. Either if you're watching from YouTube, check the description. If you're watching anywhere from website, there is uh, a link anywhere, a button telling you click to get cheaper cash. Just click on it and get the app it's totally free totally free so all right now let's get to cheaper cash first of all with cheaper cash you should have an account with them if you really want to use it so uh, that's cheaper cash i already have an account but i'll just try play around with the open free account and show you the first step then i'll log into my account and show you how to add a payment method in facebook as you can see from the screen because i'm going to show you how to do this so that you get this stuff and add your payment account just like as I've had it just a 4,000 Naira in Nigeria currency. All right, so now back to cheaper cash. So I'm going to click on open free account. With cheaper cash, you can use either on different states. Look at the state uh, cheaper cash support. You support Ghana, it means Ghana can send money to people in Nigeria using cheaper cash. Um, in Kenya, I'm in Nigeria, so uh, it's possible with me. Then in Rwanda, then in South Africa, Tanzania, Uganda, United K, uh, Kingdom, and US, United States. So you see, that's beautiful. That's all. So we still have other countries, I think. Currently, all this one, I don't know if they are available in cheaper cash. I, I don't think, but uh, okay, seems they're almost uh, possible in many of these uh, countries using cheaper cash. But I think the one they support currently, which I will show you, which one they support from Google. Well, let's just go straight to Google. It operates, uh, it uh, cheaper cash works in um, United States, in Nigeria, payment method as well. But one thing is that cheaper cash currently works in. I'm um, trying to check. Look at uh, look at transfer of this account. Okay, from third party. I'm trying to check other things. Uh, which country can it really works? But I can't find something reasonable from this place. But uh, with cheaper cash, you can't have more than one account. So in case you're having an account with cheaper cash before, please don't do it so that you don't get your account suspended. So be careful because this is very important, not just opening the account. So uh, with the dollar rate in cheaper cash, we have um, 700 to a dollar and we have buying rates when converted from dollar to Naira, it's 800 to a dollar. So what is the maximum amount of cheaper cash you can have, you can do a daily. Um, for me, a cheaper cash has a daily maximum limit of $1,000 on this visual card and 4,000 monthly limit. It means you can spend almost a thousand dollar, which is in Nigeria currency, if you convert. That should be seven hundred thousand in your dollar uh, card. So you can delete your stuff. You can uh, you can't have to account and some other stuffs. If you go down here again, uh, if you want to move down to the end part of this, because people ask some other question is, can I receive money from USA with cheaper cash? It is almost possible, but user in United States of America can only receive funds sent from other cheaper cash. Uh, users within USA. That is what we have there. And we still have the minimum amount to invest and some other questions, but I will not be talking about this. Just one uh, query. How many country, that's what you should know, does cheaper cash support? So that's a question I will ask uh, Google and see the, the trick there. So now we'll open this from cheaper cash uh, official website. It said, they support this. That is why uh, when I tried creating an account, they showed me the first one, Ghana, Nigeria, Uganda, Rwanda, South Africa, and state, United States of America. Now, back to cheaper cash that we we're talking about. So from here, um, we're going to start, first of all, picking your uh, your country code. So now you're going to type in your code and just like 21276790 and some your numbers, then you move on to next. If they give you any prompting that says section not found, please try again. Ensure you have your network. Yes, you have a good network. So I'm going to write up uh, everything now. I'm just 09127. Click on next and see something went wrong. 
to open an account you agree so if it doesn't do i'm going to turn on my data and turn it on again and see if that solves the problem you get so now i'm going to just close this one up i'm going to just drag this up then i'm going to nest again and see what comes up something went wrong try so i'm going to use email yes i'm going to try use email this time and see if that solves it so i'm going to click on nest and see what comes up section not found please try again so i'm going to close this app and bring it back again all right so now uh i just put in my mail what i do was to close the app as i've said and i'm back so they decide to check my mail to get this so it goes straight to your mail and um, check this and see if it's available there so it should be on your mail uh and i check your spam folder but this is in my direct mail it's not in any of this um spam folder so i'm going to come here and put in that stuff let me see it there that we have four seven nine eight two eight so i'm going to type four seven nine eight two then i'm going to go inside there and when i'm good then it's still trying so i'm going to continue again see i didn't get that let me just clean one again and put it and see if it verifies me so it's not valid let's see what the problem four seven nine eight two eight uh, let me get it out again and try put it if it doesn't work then i'm going to say still haven't received code then i'll go back again and see try see if this uh problem stops so same pro uh, process now uh, ignore this i'm going to use email from here i'm going to type in the stuff i want to put i'm going to just put in any stuff there i'm going to put in one of these um the email let me get this off the screen so from here i'm going to pick one of the email there i'm going to click on next then i'll wait for otp to come by just reloading my mail to get another one from cheaper cash so i'm going to reload this very fast and see if the stuff comes in that's the process of creating accounts sometimes it takes time sometimes you just have to be uh, patient enough to get your job done so we have it two four nine four five four six so that's what i'll put in there two okay we have two nine four two nine four we have five four six five four someone said maybe this guy is blind five four uh two okay uh, five six nine sorry five six nine instead five six nine so this should get me the job done i don't know sometimes maybe it's your network all right so now from here we're going to move on to create profile we're going to follow the steps one after the other so step one of five i'm going to get started giving them ensure this name tallies with your bank details so if you're using your mom's details or your dad's details or any of your siblings ensure this is because you're in need of a bank account a very good bvn to get this job done so I advise you use a, a legal name you've been using in all so look at what is set down there as it appears in your government issued id so your first name is the name you bear like if you're austin like me i'm austin then i'm going to put in my name there i'm going to say um from here i'm going to just put in some stuff very fast then my last name i'm going to put any stuff there then i'm going to go to date of birth and short this date of birth is correct don't just fake anything but i'm going to fake this and just put it since it's just for creation uh purposes so i'm going to tap inside these balls like two times one two all right let me just go straight to june okay now let me pick any of these one here okay now just tap at this place if you want to go to the 90 just come in here tap there i'm going to tap that place and move on to one of these 1990 stuff so i'm going to come in here and just pick uh any age oh, let me pick this one then I'm going to Friday. Then you can from here you can go straight to um, any of these places you feel like. Oh, let me just pick among the side. I'm going to click on OK. So then the next thing I want to do is uh, send money from Nigeria or anywhere you are sending the money from. Then the next thing you want to do is to click on Nest. All right. So now over to Nest. We're going to click on Nest and wait for that. The next thing is to choose country of birth. So you're going to pick any one year. Uh, depends if they give birth in Pluto. You can pick Pluto, depending anyway. So Nigeria, ah, I'm promise uh, citizen. Where are you from? So I'm going to still pick my nationality. I will just go to my Nigeria and I'll see if I have that. I'm a Nigerian. So I'm going to choose gender. I'm a male for my voice. If you're female, put that stuff there. Then we're going to put street name. From street name, just use uh, your utility bill address to get that done. I advise, put your utility bill address to get at them. So I'm going to just put uh, anywhere because I'm doing this from... Enugu State Town, then I'm going to pick uh, one of these address. Enugu Portal Code, Expressway Portal Code. That's what I'm going to pick, street name. So house number, I can just pick 10, uh, depending. So 
Then additional, if you want to add additional, you put poster code. You can just search for poster code. So uh, to get that, go straight to Google to get poster code. So come here and say poster code for Enugu or depending, depending, poster code for a particular address. So now I want to get a poster code. All right. For for Enugu. So I'm going to put Enugu there and we have that search there. And so we have a lot of fun. So I'm going to use this first one, depending, 400102. That's what I'm going to use. But you can put your address, ask for your own address and they will give you what is there. So 40102. Uh, so region or state, you're going to pick on the region. You're going to pick where you're doing this from. Then I'm going to still use this same one I've been using. Then the city, you can put uh, in a good city. I'm just be using my details here. All. So now I'm good. So ensure you're not faking this because it's very important to put that. Now, your cheaper tag is a unique username that helps you send money. So this is very important. Like me, I can decide to use at Austin Chooks. Anything I want to put there and see if it's available. So when I'm good, uh, then the tag. Okay, look at what they said. The tag is already taken. This is the tag you send to people. So that when you want to send you money, you can put Austin Chooks 001. So make sure you put something great that you feel like. Now I can confirm tag Austin Chooks 101 or Austin 111. So let me get this and just say Austin 111 and see. The tag is already taken. I'm going to say Austin 1000 boss. It's already taken. I'm going to put 10K. I'm going to put 1 million and see. All right. So Austin 1, 2, 3. Let me get 1. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. It's, okay, this is available. So I'm going to say Austin 1 million. So put 1 million Naira after Austin then. I can confirm tag. So now the next thing is what is your main reason for using cheaper cash? Save and invest. Buy and sell. All stuff. So you can send money to loved ones abroad. You can decide to say in country, once in, like people in your country or stuff. You can pick all of them if you feel like and you're good to go. So as it seems it's only three we can use here. Then pick the three, uh, you're good to go. So let's get, because I'm not selling property. So I'm going to click on next. Then wait for this. Now this pin is very, very important to create. So create any pin of your choice. That is the pin you will use to log into the app. You know, I told you if you want to get the app, just click on the link on get cheaper cash uh, app. Just click on it. Follow the link and uh, get your app. It's very important when you do that. Very, very important so that you don't get issue when creating your account. And if you're watching from on YouTube, please don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So that so I'm just putting the pin I feel like putting and I'm good to go and stuff like this. So I'll not be using so your cheaper cash has been created successfully. Hooray. So if you uh, go to this place, just eat me. Just click on like and drop something. I say I've created mine successful at the comment section. Definitely, I will respond to you with congratulations. So now we're going to proceed to home. Then we'll move on to the next thing. So now we have the home features like this, all beautiful and all crazy. So now we're going to unlock more features. If you want to unlock more features, now there are many things you can do here. Just swipe this so that it goes off because they're trying to do this and this will eventually finish. So we have the home section, we have the profile here. From here you can see the profile, from here you can see pay bills, you can buy data, you can talk about airtime, your wallet, is there's no money in your wallet. From here you have another one here, which is the home section, we have earning, you have invest, oh sorry, okay. So you have invest, so I'm going to close this one now. I'm going to close this, uh, this one, sorry. Okay, so let me bring this again, we have the invest, we have card. This card is the most important one. That is why I've created this account. But if you still want to use other uh, features in cheaper cash, definitely you can use it for your own benefit. Yes, you can use it for your own benefit. Uh, it's very important. You have multiple accounts and ways to uh, get some stuff done. So for me, I'll go straight to this, my profile, and see if there's anything remaining and should do. I'm tap on the profile. From here, I have my, my ca uh, tag. So when someone says, please send me your tag, I want to transfer you money, just come here and just copy that very fast or type that Austin 1 million to the person and the person will send me the money immediately to my account. So now you can enable your cheaper cash account number because anyone that want to transfer your money, if you want to transfer money from your local bank, like those in Zenith Bank, Access Bank, Diamond Bank, depending on which bank you use it and you want to transfer money to your cheaper cash account, you need this stuff. Yes. So you need, uh, you need, to enable your this so over here now i'm going to enable this and now we need a little bit of information to get started so i'm going to click on get started and see what next 
Now from here, you have to be very sensible. So look at to get verified. Chipa must collect additional info to comply with local regulations. Remember, Chipa Cash is a microfinance bank. Yes. So now you can send more. So you can send and receive money when you verify your account. So you're going to say verify my account. Over you're going to say do your selfie. So I will not be doing this because I've done this before and I won't want to lose my account because they're going to ask you for your PVN. So just follow the processes and get your account done. So follow the process. It's very simple. I've told you. Ensure you're not faking anything so that this will be very smooth for you. So now from here, I, I already have, a, you can from here, you can request for card. Yes. So over here now, you can ask for two kind of card. You can ask for two kind of card, but only when you verify. You can't do anything. So over now, I'm going to log out from here and log into my original account. Then I will tell you the type of card that are available to do this. So now I'm fully logged into my account. I told you this. I said, please, if you're using phone number, ensure the phone number is active. It's active in your phone. You can get access to it. If you're using mail, ensure it's a verified mail so that everything works smooth for you. Now, I already have my account. I've been uh, using uh, cheaper cash for Facebook ad and some stuff. So I already have card here. For me, if you tap on card, uh, the difference between card and wallet is when someone sends you money, it appears in your wallet. But from your wallet, you can fund your card. So when I have uh, some money in my card after crediting my Facebook, there's still a thousand balls in that place I can do. So I can decide to top up by uh, putting ad fund from your cheaper wallet into your stuff. Look at it to your cheaper Vita NGN card, Nigeria card. So if I just type 1000 Naira, definitely I'll credit. But right now, if you go one step backward, you discover at this place, what I have is just zero Naira here. So I can't top up, but I can use my card to buy some stuff because I have some little token in there, which you can see 1,300 Naira. So from here now, look at here. It said Facebook charged your card minus 4,000 using pay you. So for we to add that, you have to get your card and there are two types of card, NGN Visa card and USD card. To get USD card, it's going to cost you 2,000 balls. Yes, they're going to collect you 200. So when you click on claim your card, they're going to tell you, hey, so for you to get card, you're going to confirm your phone number. You're going to add address. All these things are very simple. Use national ID sleep. Get stuff done. If you don't have, use a family friend that you trust and you get it done. So if I click on this, if I click on this now, I can claim my card, but there is no money there. I'm not getting a dollar card. So if you want to use dollar card for your Facebook ad, you can as well use a dollar card. But for you to get this done, if you really want to use a uh, USD card, you should set your payment uh, method in Facebook as a uh, dollar. Don't, don't set it as Nigeria. But if you really want to use the uh, NGN, which I'm using, and so during your setup in Facebook ad, if you watch my video very well, uh, you will you should set it at Nigeria so that you can use the debit and the pay you. So I want to top up my Facebook ad so that we're going to do it on real time. I want to get a thousand naira and add it to my Facebook account, Facebook ad account, so that I can run ad with it. So currently in my card, I've already topped up from my bank. Uh, in case you're asking how, how possible is that from here, if you click here, you see they've already given me a bank details. So over now, nine payment service bank. I can use it. If I transfer money to this account, it appears directly to this place in my wallet. I press and I'll see it here. So now I'll go straight to Facebook. So let's just come here to this Facebook uh, settings. Let's assume I want to top up my stuff and see if it will be successful. So I'm going to add fund using. So from here, you are come here to your settings. When you open your Facebook, in case you want to know what is this, this is called Facebook ad account. So if you want to get that, Go to Play Store because you should know a lot of things. It's good you know a lot of things when working with face, uh, Facebook ads. So you go to come here and say Facebook ad. Search for it like this. It's going to open uh, Manager, though I've not updated mine. Just install this Meta Ad Manager and it's going to take you immediately to Facebook uh, this place. So just log in with your Facebook username and password and it's going to bring you to this place. Just like as you see, this is the account I created during the video and I have it in my phone so that I can manage here. I can do some settings. I can watch my heart anytime. I can create one here if you feel like creating. But I advise you use your laptop. But you can manage this if you don't have a laptop to create ad. Just click on create and it's going to ask you what's your objective. You're going to pick one as I've explained. So, but I won't be doing that anyway. 
So now from here, settings. Uh, sorry, that would be a separate video now to run hard using your smartphone. So from here now, I'm going to pick on payment settings. Yes. So I'll click on payment. Uh, I want to add payment method. It's going to ask me two questions. Add payment method. So from here, we can add payment method. The two way to add payment method is using debit and using uh, three ways, add credit and uh, MasterCard using PayU. If you use the first one here, even though you use cheaper cash, it's going to tell you declined. Your card might get declined. That's why I advise you use this one here called uh, PayU. So that's what we'll be using. I'm going to tap in there. Sorry. I'm going to tap in that place. I'll click on Next. It's going to load in no time and tell you how much do you want to add. There is no limit, so I'm going to just put that thousand balls in there. So I'll tap on a thousand, then I'll click on next. So it's going to load uh, the Facebook payment method and some other stuff. Then it's going to take me straight to Google Chrome. Let me take uh, open Chrome and see what really happens in that place. So let's see if it's successful. But uh, most I try, I like doing this on my PC. But let's just see if it declines or continue. But it shouldn't decline. So just wait for this. You can try to use desktop uh, mode in your PC if you think you want to convert this to PC. Just change this to desktop mode, which you can see here, this desktop mode. But that's by the way. So now we have this. I'm going to click on card because I want to credit a uh, 1000 from my cheaper cash. Then it's going to ask for my card number. If you want to think what's your card number, it's already there. If you open, if you check well on my cheaper cash, uh, when I was talking about my card, so I talked about... Uh, my card so you have your card number there which is available so let me just uh, put this stuff there and uh, we're good to go so uh, when I log in at this place I have my card number from here you see your card number if you really want to see everything in your card so come here and click on show details so you can click on show details and you are good to go so I'll just pause this and copy the card stuff and put it inside that pause and we are good to go all right so now you've seen i've done everything uh one thing about uh cheaper cash is there's no way anybody can use your details like as you can see on the screen even though you copy these details and try to use it they are going to send me uh otp to the smartphone and tell me hey someone is about to make purchases should you authenticate or continue tell them no so over here now just putting your store from here they are all in your cheaper cash if you click on your cheaper cash as i've said just ensure you there and uh if you do that uh you have um the stuff your card you have your all your stuff here so if you click on show details you have them here your cvv is here your inspiration and some stuff is there which you can use so just ensure you put the stuff there and you pay so when you're good just click on pay and you click on pay then it's going to just turn some stuff turn some time tell you okay please protect card entry so click on card again and try put on the stuff and see what really happened all right so now let me see what what's there let me try putting the details again. Let me try putting the details again. So uh, the little challenge here is this. They asked for, uh, I just tried to use a desktop site. They asked for, uh, from here you see, they asked for card holder name and I enter a wrong uh, name. If you really want to get that, please be careful when doing this. And uh, The name on the card is this and not the name on your profile. So be careful when do that. So I'm going to just uh, restart that same process and put in the stuff that I needed there. I'll type in the card stuff and uh, type in my card details and uh, just show details from here. Then over here, I could just copy my card uh, details and I'm good to go. So copied. Now comes over to this place. I put in the stuff there like this. Then I'll come in the side. Then I will uh, get this off and change it because I've seen it's a very different name. From there, so from the card stuff, you're gonna put uh from here. Let me just switch again and um, go step back. We have that, so I'll put that and I'm good to go. So I'll put um, this, then I'll put the same stuff 184. I believe that's 184. So I'm gonna just show details again and see what comes up, and we're good to go. Okay, now I'll put that 18 stuff, and then I'm going to pay now and see if that solved the problem. So I'm going to pay now and see. So now it's going to load some time and we have that. All right. This should be done with the PC because I talked about the PC is very important when doing this because I'm getting some declines here because of uh, the correct name. So let me just try um, rectify this and tell you what I did. So now uh, I just told you I'm going to rectify the problem. Uh, what really happened was don't copy it. 
type it as you can see it, the, the 16 digit code. So type it as you can see it. Don't just copy it, just type it directly. So over now, they're going to send me uh, some code and some stuff uh, to my phone because I can see now. So what I'll do is just get in the code and put it inside here and I will submit it immediately. So now uh, you'll see the, the, the stuff. This is authentic because from here, you can see this bank called UBA. They are affiliated with it. So now I'll put in the stuff here, the OTP one-time password, then I'm going to submit it and it's going to process and tell me congratulations or tell me payment failed. You see, I've walked you through the process of doing this. I've told you errors you can encounter and I told you that your 16 digit code for your payment, you should take time, take time and type it. Don't just copy it from your cheaper. So when you type on show details, your uh, look at now you have your uh, transaction was successful. So now it uh, now they will take me straight to Facebook. Uh, now I'll go back to my um I'll go back to this place and try see if anything has been added to it. Now you can see Uri, we've just credited our um account with um a thousand bucks. So if I come here to payment, you can see it has moved from that amount to this amount, which means I can run my heart safely without any problem so i talked about how you could create an account i talked about i said reach me out if you're having challenges ensure you join my telegram channel ensure you've downloaded the app through the link i posted on this uh, description or anywhere you're watching this and ensure you subscribe to my channel then chat me out through my telegram channel there's a link there that will bring you directly to my um, whatsapp then i will help you to get your facebook running for free for free i won't be charging you All right i believe you enjoyed this tutorial I believe and I wish you success into doing this as I've done mine. Verify your own, ensure you're authentic, ensure you are not scamming anyone. And trust me, the Lord will be with us all. I'll see you in other tutorials.